let's jump into the first topic of the evening. We got some news that we want to cover, and I want to get these guys' thoughts. And of course, the chat's thoughts, which I will post some polls for you guys. That said, we got to talk about Costco Reeves. Costco Reeves has been released by Hot Toys. And actually, this is a figure that I just kind of forgot was coming anytime soon. I knew that people were excited about it, and I knew that this was going to be one that popped up sooner rather than later. However, I just kind of forgot that this figure was coming out. And I think, honestly, Hot Toys did a really good job. The proto was good. The final looks good. The outfit looks good. The head sculpt is as good as it was originally. Uh, I know Kiko has this on the way to him. Kiko, what are your thoughts? Did Hot Toys deliver a grail here with Costco Reeves? I don't know if you can say it's a grail simply because the single jointed elbows. I know that's what people are going to be really upset about because literally the release before, which I'm sure we'll talk about, the Fennec has double jointed elbows. This one does not visually. This is an absolute stunner. Fantastic. They nailed the Mercedes slash uh, Sasha Banks head sculpt. Incredible. Looks. <laughs> oh, do we, do we lose Kiko? I think we did. I think we did. Oh, Already. Oh, he's going to come back though. Because I can see his avatar. It's like pulsating. Which it's means, talking. Which means talk. he's alive. He's alive. Yeah. He's there. He's probably still talking. He probably doesn't even realize that he's not talking anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, and this is just something we're going to have to deal with. So I'll jump back. I'll come back to Kiko because I'm sure he's going to exist again in a second. Riley, I want to get your thoughts on this. What do you think? Is, is Costco Reeves a figure that you care about? Is it something you're going to pick up? Do you think Hot Toys delivered? What are your overall thoughts? So yeah, this is one where I'm kind of the same. Oh, we have two Kikos. <laughs> two Kikos. <laughs> so I got to keep... Can I, yeah, there, we there we go. I'll remove one. Yeah, but um, the Costco Reeves... She like came out great. I mean, I've talked about this before. I feel like with Hot Toys and Star Wars, I feel like like 90% of their sculpts like hit. Like they usually hit with Star Wars head sculpts. I don't know why. Maybe JC or, or Howard Chan just love Star Wars because they really do great jobs when it comes to the head sculpts. This one right here, I mean, it's a perfect um, example. Amazing sculpt. The likeness looks really great. I'm excited for people picking this up. Not going to be one that I need. I just don't think it's one of those characters where it's like I need to have it in my collection. Also, with Mando season three being a little uh, not as hype, it, it's it kind of lessens the the hype train for me. But I mean, look at that the, the whole trio right there. That's pretty badass. I know a lot of people are gonna have fun with these figures. I was one of the ones that actually loved Costco Reeves the the outfit. I think she has a really cool outfit. I it's hard because I really like her helmet, but mm -hmm. her head sculpt's also really good. So it's really it's really it's really a tough one. But I mean, what more can you say? It's a great looking figure. Happy for people picking it up. It, it just looks really nice. And, and you got that. I mean, like, look at that. The two female head sculpts, which usually hot toys, we, we've known this female head sculpts, they are harder to capture the likeness. But right here, I mean, it looks like two of the actresses right there. Like, it's amazing. Dude, really. and Riley, this is super interesting, bro. And I had to go back and look at Costco Reeves' hairstyle. And I was like, did she have those, like, braids across? Did it look like it does? She it, did. She did. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and it's accurate. Dude, we're going to talk about Fennec. So I'm going to table that one just a little bit. Kiko, I want to jump back to you. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Um, can you, can you elaborate on your thoughts, bro, about Costco Reeves? We'll see how much we can get in. I was saying, I certainly can hear you, but okay. I know that, um, I guess people aren't really hearing me, but I think I talked about the single jointed elbows that I didn't mm -hmm. like. Um, mm -hmm. but visually I think this is an absolute win. Looks incredible. Yeah, dude, I think so too, bro. And I think you guys are really on to something about the the outfit. I, I think the weathering and just the colors of the outfit, they really pop. It's very similar to Bo, obviously, right? It's really yeah. not that that different. But you got a head sculpt. Riley, this is... Dude, now I'm starting to understand the people who were like, Axe Wolves needs a head sculpt. At the time, I was like, <laughs> yeah. nah, it's Axe Wolves. Who gives a shit, right? But right. At now, I'm seeing how good this head sculpt is. And the Katie Sockoff one, it, it's decent, right? It's okay. Yeah, it's passive. It could be better. Yeah. It could be better. But... With how good this head sculpt is, Riley, you made a good point. Like if you had her and Bo with head sculpts and then Axe with the helmet on, it might look a little weird. Right. I don't know. Yeah, what do you true. think about that? I mean, I yeah, I think the same thing. I mean, you have three of the characters who were obviously showed up in season two in a pretty badass way. And now you're just going to have the Axe Wolves without the head sculpt. So I don't know. He also took, I think the actor took a photo with the figure. So it kind of sucks because like it shows that he's kind of even a fan of Hot Toys. And unfortunately, he couldn't get that head sculpt out. So it is what yeah. it is, I guess. Yeah, it's a tough one, bro. It's an absolutely tough one. But guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Costco will not be one that I'm picking up just because when I told Riley, once you get the Magic cases, you're like, man, I don't have as much space as I thought I did. <laughs> and then, you know, yeah. all these Star Wars figures I wanted to get, I'm just like, you gotta I make can't. decisions. Like yep. my Star Wars case is literally full, Riley. I can't yep. fit any more Star Wars figures in there. So, and I got a couple on pre-order. I got to fit Cad Bane in there. I got to fit a couple others. There so, 
you know, I can't have two Darth Vaders apparently because um, I have one already and I can't fit a second one. So I'm going to have to probably move on from that one to get the DX at some point. So yep. you got to get that. And uh, are you going to get Anakin from Attack of the Clones or not? Nah? No, because I'm just going to keep Dark Side Anakin. Yeah, I'll just yeah. keep Dark Side Anakin and Dude, roll with that. So um, yeah, I wanted to have two Vaders, but not really possible. So, right. yeah. Right. Anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below about Casca. I'm excited about her. I think I, I'm excited that people are excited. She's not going to be in my collection, but she looks great. And I think uh, Hot Toys delivered something good here. And maybe you don't even get another opportunity at her. Maybe there's the only one. We'll see. Yeah. Only time That's will true. tell.